Hello everyone, this is Einfari here, and I'm going to be showing you guys my new Biddle kit that came in the mail today, and also the black Isabi shells, which you see on Magnus in the middle here. I'm just going to be trying them out because I got this shell kit about a week ago, but needed the screwdrivers for it because I don't know what happened to my original set since I got lost to my dad somewhere, so had to get a set of these guys before I was able to finally get all the pieces on him, and then... Also, I had to use the tip of an X-Acto knife to remove the joints, and I had to solder on the new charging plate on his neck, which the instructions from the manual don't really go into detail about. I guess they do go into detail about the joint caps a little bit, but they're talking about using a tweezers or a pliers, which I did not do. I just had to use the tip of a sharp X-Acto knife and kind of pop them off and put them back on. And then that plate was required soldering, and then... Otherwise, the pieces are fairly straightforward other than the jaw, which came with like a new, there's like a new rod that came with the jaw to put on on, but I basically had to brute force it because I've done that for painting them before. I do not recommend that. It's just what I was able to make work, but I hope somebody can find a better way to do it because I would not recommend my methods because I only knew this because Isabi plastics are pretty bendy, so that's the only way I knew that work. But I did ultimate but it is a static piece and I did ultimately get it back on and he looks like he looks like this all black now. And it's super shiny, so I really like the way that turned out and maybe someday I'll be able to find a clear one. So anyway, here's back to the Biddle kit. This is the new kit I ordered from Kickstarter from Pet OI. I know I've seen the nibble kit before, I've been following that from the beginning. And I really want to get that one too, but I'm a little worried about the wood shells and being a klutz and breaking them. So that seeing that this guy looked pretty sturdy and could kind of, and he reminds me of a spot mini, but cute. With like a head and he has a little bone in his mouth, as you see here. I thought that I would try this guy out. So let's kind of open up what's in the box here. So it looks like here's the head and the body. Here's the servo motor kit. USB for charging, and he has a little, and it looks like underneath the body here, here's what it looks like underneath. I got the yellow and black one, but there's also a totally black kit, which I think I will might, might buy another one to do some instructionals on once I figure out how to use this one, but it's like this is the main board, this is the remote, USB charger, and then servo motors, and then... Here it looks like here's the leg pieces below here, the wheels, front and back pieces on the leg. I'll have to, I'm not sure what that is, but I'll have to look at the instructions. This is going to be something to do this weekend while I'm not working. But then, looks this is just screws everything to put it together. And then this. Yeah, this looks like, it's yeah, this looks like all the different mo motors that I think. Around here. Yeah, I can pull, try to pull at least some of these out. Yeah, these look like all the different, yeah, the different servo motors as it kind of talks about in the box, which also I will figure out eventually, but this is just gonna, just gonna have to look over the instructions to get all this going. And then this looks like it's just, this looks like sensors, a USB adapter, some different chips you can put on put on the robot. A little hard to see under the black electronics bag here. And then, don't, oh yeah, this is the okay. The batteries on the bottom. I was looking for that, but I've been but I'm really excited to try this one out. Fig, figure out how to do it first, and then hopefully make some instructional videos. Maybe get some lights on the eyes. I know I have another LED set somewhere. So I think this will be a lot of fun to try to learn how to use, and can't. And I, I've seen demos of him doing flips, so hopefully I can do all kinds of fun skits with him. But anyway, thank you for watching, and if you want to see more of Biddle, make sure to like and subscribe.